Hello everyone, this is Dr. Seher from Dentabest, your best online mentor for the preparation of INBD, ADAT and AFK exam. Please like and subscribe to my channel on YouTube and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok. Please visit my website on dentabest.com to see different personalized and smart learning program offered by me at a very affordable cost. I thank you for watching this video. So first of all, uh, for the old pathology lecture today, we are going to discuss what is important here, right? Because that is the most important thing we want to know. We want to know what is asked in the exam. So old pathology is a very important subject of the exam. And you will always get questions whether it is an INBD, ADAT or AFK, lots of them in the exam. So first of all, when we talk about oral pathology, so these are different topics here related to differential diagnosis, manifestation of systemic diseases, some bone pathologies of head and neck, topics and more details on the oral cancer, soft tissue neoplasm, cyst, tumor, salivary gland pathologies, malignant and benign conditions and the viral diseases. The most important for us to know the oral manifestations of different systemic conditions that we have. But to start with it, First of all, we should try to understand the difference between all these terms. Like for example, what is a macule? What is a patch? What is a papule? So macule, they are the flat lesions, okay? And they are found only in epidermis. Same is with a patch. But the difference between macule and a patch is in the size. Like macule is only uh, less than one centimeter, while patch is going to be a larger lesion, more than one centimeter. Now, when we try to differentiate between papule and plaque, now what is the difference? Papule and plaque both are raised lesions. Again, the papule is going to be less than 1 centimeter, while plaque is going to be greater than 1 centimeter. So, this papule and plaque, both of them, you have proliferation of the cells in epidermis or the epidermal cells in the superficial dermis. Now, let's see what's the difference between uh, nodule then. So, nodule is also a raised lesion. It looks like a small knot. And nodule, you have proliferation of cells deeper into the dermis or in the middermis. Now, when we talk about the vesicle and bulla, what's the difference? Vesicle is a fluid filled lesion, if you can see in the picture here. It is less than one centimeter filled with the fluid. But when the same lesion becomes bigger in size, like greater than one centimeter, then it is called as a bulla filled with the fluid as well. But pustule is when it gets filled up with the pus when it's an infraction, leukocytes present in it. Now, what is the difference between erosion and ulcer? So, both erosion and ulcers, they are depressed lesions. In erosion, there is a loss of the part or all of the epidermis. But in case of ulcer, all the layer of epidermis are being lost and also a part of dermis. So, ulcer is going to heal with the scarring, while the erosion, it heals without the scarring. 